Polar Pro just released their first smartphone filter system called Light Chaser Pro. This system offers a variety of filters ranging from CP all the way to variable ND filters and with the help of their additional grip you even can turn your smartphone into a fully fledged video rig. So let me give you a rundown what Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro has to offer you. What up guys, welcome back to another episode, my name is Eddie Bear and today will be all about the new Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro filter system, which by the way is their first ever filter for a smartphone. And this system is pretty special since it's not just a simple filter you slap onto your phone, it has way more to offer you since it's modular. So today I'm going to show you what parts will be available at launch and also what they are good for. At the heart of the Light Chaser Pro filter system is their new case. Thanks to the mounting points along the case, it pretty much turns your smartphone case into a camera cage, so you can mount all kinds of accessories onto it. At the launch, only one accessory will be available and it's the Light Chaser grip. Also, you get access to a variety of filters ranging from CP filters all the way to variable ND filters from two to five stops and from three to five stops, Unfortunately, these weren't available, so I could not get my hands on them yet. But in today's review, I will be featuring the CP filter. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know by now that I'm a big advocate for Pula Pro filters since I think they yield the best results. And if you haven't seen all my previous reviews, I will link them up here so you can see for yourself how they behave under real life conditions. But enough talk for now, let me start today's introduction with the centerpiece of the Light Chaser Pro system. With the Light Chaser filter system, the first thing you will need to get is a phone case. At this point in time, only Apple devices are supported and the cases range back all the way to iPhone 10. From a case point of view, the Polar Pro Light Chaser case is really a rigid case and you're certainly not afraid to drop your phone in it. From an aesthetic point of view, it certainly isn't the prettiest case out there. In case of the Light Chaser Pro smartphone case, this isn't an issue since it isn't meant to be pretty, it's meant to be practical. Thanks to the mounting points along the smartphone case, you can turn your smartphone into a fully fledged camera cage. So let's talk about the first available accessory for the Light Chaser system. The grip. The Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro grip is meant to give you DSLR-like ergonomics on your smartphone. Thanks to its locking mechanism, it establishes a secure connection to the smartphone body and through its ergonomics, you are less likely to drop your phone. You can also find two quarter 20 mounting points on the top and bottom of the grip, so you can mount accessories like microphones or video lights. Now let's talk about the Light Chaser filters. Included is the filter itself, a cleaning cloth and some paperwork. The filter itself comes in a little hard plastic case and it tells you what kind of filter can be found inside. To prevent an accidental touch, the filter is covered with a rubber cover. If you are a Mavic 2 Pro owner, the mounting system of the Light Chaser Pro system will look kind of familiar. In order to mount the filter, you will need to align the four knobs on the case and with a twist it can be locked into place. Granted, in the beginning this filter system involves some fiddling, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually easier to use than most of the threaded systems at the moment out there. And I have to admit that I was quite surprised how snug the filters sit on the case. The filter performance is excellent like always, we are getting the same results as we are already used to for example from their quartz line setup for DSLRs or their drone filters. And in this little example you can see while I'm twisting the filter, even the CP filter has a significant effect on the footage cause a lot of the reflections are removed from the water. Another thing I know we all have experienced in the past is you're somewhere out and about shooting in the cold, your hands get dry and you're grabbing as tight as you can to your phone but then comes a bump in the road or a wave hits the boat and boom your phone goes flying. Thanks to the Light Chaser Pro Grip this is something out of the past cause the rubble like surface not only gives you more friction so you can hold tighter onto your phone, you also have more to hold on in the first place. And thanks to the bigger holding surface, you're also able to get a way steadier shot than before cause you don't only have the edges to hold on, 
you can like really properly grab your phone like you do with a DSLR camera. Cool thing about the Light Chaser Pro Grip is that it not only serves as a grip, you also can use it to mount additional accessories onto your phone, which then pretty much turns your phone into a fully fledged video rig. By the way, the setup I just showed you is the one I'm filming this little sequence here. So my video light is at 10% brightness and I'm using the Deity D3 Pro and I think the audio quality has improved vastly over the already good audio from the iPhone 11 Pro. And also with the brightness of this video light, I have plenty of room if I have to light something that needs way more light. So you be the judge. Do you think this setup could be used outside in the field? Let me know down below. By the way, if you ever want to use the Light Chaser Pro filters without the grip, for example in combination with a DJI Osmo Mobile 3, you can easily do so because the weight distribution throughout the case, even in combination with the filter, is so even that you have no issues balancing the gimbal whatsoever. I think Polar Pro's Light Chaser Pro system is a great addition to their already incredible lineup and I really hope that they are going to release more and more accessories for their case so it can get more versatile over time. But just imagine for a second they would incorporate accessories I featured in my mobile creator content guide. How crazy would it be to have something like an anamorphic lens or something like that on this case? What would you like to see on their case? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked today's episode, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Peace.